welcome to this video in this video we are continuing with our study on the topic of earth geometry on the subtopic latitude so first of all it is very important for you and i to understand what latitudes are so latitudes these are imaginary lines that moves from west to east on the earth surface so there are imaginary lines that move from west to east on the earth surface. So this is an example of the earth surface. As you can see, we have got the direction of west and the east. So these lines which are moving in this direction are what we are calling latitudes. Very simple concept there. So an example of latitude is the equator. Equator is also a latitude. Okay, so now it is important for you to understand the characteristics of latitudes. Once you understand the characteristic of latitude, then it means that as far as latitude is concerned, you are better. You are on the better side. Okay, so now of course this characteristic which I've listed here, there are just four. Okay, so the first characteristic is saying the radius of latitudes are denoted by a small letter R. <coughs> This is very much true. As far as latitudes are concerned, latitudes they are denoted by a small letter R, not a capital letter R. Remember that on longitude, we say that longitudes are represented by a capital letter R. So now on latitudes, they are represented by a small letter R. So meaning that wherever you see a small letter R, the word latitude must come into your head. Very simple there. Okay, and then two, they do not have a specific radius, which is also true. Latitudes, they do not have a specific radius. Despite longitudes having a specific radius, in terms of latitudes, they don't have. So at this point, point two, this point two, it means or it's communicating to you and I that we need to calculate the value of the small letter R. We need to calculate the value of radius in latitudes. Okay. And then let's go to the third point. So the third point talks about the formula which you can use to calculate the radius of a latitude. To calculate that small letter R. Since we say that they don't have a specific radius. Okay. So the formula to use is R is equal to R cos x degree. Where this R is the radius in longitude. Is the radius in longitude where this x is uh, is the angle or the line at which the given points lie very simple there but i'll explain on the next video about the radius because on the next video i'm going to concentrate much on how you can calculate the radius of the latitude okay then the last catalytic is just a formula the distance formula which you can use to calculate the distance along the latitude so the distance is d is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi capital letter r cos x degree. So on the third video, I'm going to explain where this, this concept is coming from. Why are we not having small letter r here, but we are, but we are having a capital letter r. So these are, these are going to be explained on the third video to come. So in this video, I've introduced you the concept of latitude of which we have defined latitudes. I've also showed you how latitudes move on the globe. Thereafter, we have discussed characteristics of latitudes, in which we say that latitudes represented by a small letter R, they don't have the specific radius, mean that you must calculate their radius. We also interrogated the radius formula and the distance formula to use when you want to calculate the radius and the distance respectively thank you for watching this video and i hope you have gotten the concept of this introductory video on latitudes thank you